What's up everyone and welcome back to battery power running low Okay, we're gonna go proceed onwards past the mystery gate thing because today we are heading after the mysteriously lost Dunsparce into I guess Stomp Stomp Peak it automatically chose us where we're supposed to go to save her or him don't know if it's a him or her I guess we can choose that ourselves uh, when we do the voice acting for it because I don't think I've actually picked a voice for Dunsparce yet but this is Stomp Stump Peak, and it is what we're going to be doing in today's episode, and probably a little more, because this is the first official dungeon, I guess. Not, like, story-driven. Well, it is still story-driven, but, uh, it's the first one that I guess we're officially departing from the main gate towards. So, here we have a ton of Bagons, and I think these you can already get on your team, so I'm going to attempt to get a Bagon on our team, because Bagon is freaking awesome, and I want a Bagon on our team. A lot of people actually told me, uh, to actually start using Assurance more, because... I honestly completely forgot that Assurance even existed, so I apologize for that, and apparently Pikachu is cringed or something like that. Um, also, people suggested that I put Fake Out back on Pikachu, so I will go ahead and do that, because it can attack um, from two spaces away, so there we go. Anyway, we're gonna start using Assurance more, we're gonna start using Tackle more, or not Tackle, because we've already been using Tackle, but let's go ahead and start exploring Stomp Stump Peak. Uh, I noticed there's another Bagon over here, so maybe he will join our team, because... We really do need a Bagon on our team because he will be an awesome addition. But, um, yeah, thank you for all the tips in this game because I am still a noob at these Mystery Dungeon games. And even though I have read and heard in many places and many towns that this is the easiest Mystery Dungeon game, I, I'm still a noob at it apparently. So, there we go. We grow to level 10. Our attack and defense and everything pretty much goes up every time by two, I guess, every time. I don't know why it always goes up by two. And Pikachu is learning a new move, and that is Thunder Wave. So we're going to go ahead and delete uh, Growl, because I don't really care about Growl. And, oh my, can we delete Growl? Yes, I really hate when it defaults to no win games, just in general. Sometimes I know it can be helpful, but sometimes it's just really annoying. I guess here it's not too bad, because I was about to accidentally delete Fake Out. But, you know, I don't know. As long as people pay attention, I guess you could notice that it is no or, or yes or no. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and go to the right cave. Eastern cave, rather. Not right, because directions. Hey, look! The freaking the, the stairs are right there already. That's awesome. How do we move diagonally again? I think it's you hold R. Oh, God. Why did I do that? I meant to move the... What the heck? I'm literally not even moving. I guess when you were hold... What? When you're holding R, I guess, uh, your character either moves on its own or something was happening to mine because it was literally not letting me move for some reason. So there we go. Let's go ahead and tackle it. And there goes Pet... Petal... The thing. I was trying to pick up that item, you douchebag Bagon. Freaking taking the item that I was just literally trying to pick up. There we go. Now we get the Heal Seed. Um, another tip that you guys also gave me is to put Reviver Seeds on my Pokemon because if they do faint in a battle or whatnot, then they will go ahead and revive. I think Oshawott already has a Reviver Seed on it, but I don't know about Pikachu. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of Pokemon on this floor, man. What is going on here? Oh, jeez. Petalos are going to be really, really annoying. I have a feeling because Oshawott is going to, or is water type. So, can we actually even hit that? I guess not. So, Water Gun does not hit from this far, I guess. So, let's go ahead and go diagonally from it. And now we can attack it. Hey, you're paralyzed. That's good for me. Not really that good for you because I'm going to assurance you and hopefully you die soon. But I don't know why I have a feeling like they're going to be really annoying. Oh, gosh. Tom Tom, you're dying. That's not good, Tom Tom. I hope we kill it. Thank you. Okay. Well, Tom Tom might need a berry sometime soon. Ah, never mind. We're, we're good. We're going to pick up this item right here and just go ahead and go up the stairs because I don't know, man. I don't really know. So far, I am enjoying this game. It, I don't know. I, I feel like I should have played uh, some of the earlier Mystery Dungeons at least more thoroughly because if it is true that this one is one of the easiest one, I would have liked to play one of the more challenging ones because this one's pretty good so far. It's just, it is easy. I do get that feeling. Um, the bosses have been a little bit challenging, but, you know, they haven't been anything that we can't handle so far. Um, I don't know. I just, uh, I've had a lot of people tell me that the other ones are a little more challenging and just this one's still good and it is like a good introduction to the series. So I'm glad that I did get started with this one because I feel like if I would have dived into the other ones not knowing what the heck is going on, it would have been even worse. At least this one does a good job of explaining how everything works and what to do and whatnot. And also you guys really have helped me out throughout uh, the beginning of this Let's Play because as I said, um, this is a whole different Pokemon experience for me. I am... I guess I could say I'm skilled at the normal games, 
even though I do make some pretty bad mistakes a lot of the times, but hey, that happens to all of us, I, apparently. Maybe not to all of us, but it happens to a lot of us, so all I'm saying is, I'm glad that um, this game does a good job of, like, you know, being being noob friendly. Oh god, P Pikachu, are you really doing this? Come on, AI. That's, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> we got Pikachu across, and now we have cutscene time, I guess? Don't know what's going on here. We've kept an eye out the whole way, but... There's still no sign of Dunsparce, huh? Maybe if we keep going a bit farther. Who's that? Who's over there? Oh, hey, it's an Emolga. What's up with you, buddy? Gotta come up with a voice for this one now. Dunsparce? Nope, clearly not. They don't really look like an enemy Pokemon either, but... Did you just say Dunsparce? We're looking for Dunsparce as part of a request. Request? Ooh, that bulletin board thing. So there are still Pokemon desperate enough to work for that dinky reward, huh? Thanks, though. I could use your help. I'm Emolga. I'm looking for Dunsparce, too. Dunsparce is my best friend, got it? But, he's a bit of a coward, really. And he's always messing up. Pretty much whenever he does anything, he ends up needing someone to bail him out. So, you know, I was getting a bit worried and decided to look for him myself. If you guys happen to find him first, take care of him, would ya? See ya! Okay, Emolga, that's, that's really good. Guess we uh, have someone else looking for Dunsparce, even though he just kind of gave up on looking for his own best friend. Seems like Dunsparce caused quite a bit of worry, huh? But never mind that. If he's in trouble, we ought to help him out. Let's move on. All right. Let's do it, Tom Tom. Navigate me toward the eastern plateau once again. Oh, okay. We're just back here. I guess we needed to load that for some reason. Looks like I could probably climb down this rope ladder. Climb down the rope ladder. I don't know why. I feel like there's a hidden item somewhere around here. Like a little sparkly item. At least I... Oh, God. No, I didn't mean to do that. Why did it teleport us over here? Okay, that was weird. I did not mean to battle these two pet lils, but I guess we're stuck battling them now. Oh, actually, it's a Sawaddle and a pet lil, not two. See, this is why a pet lil is going to be annoying, because it's got freaking absorb. That is going to be pretty much healing it up for more than we do damage to it. Or actually, no, because we did manage to take it out. Though I do suppose it's because he didn't decide to go for absorb that time around. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be any hidden items around here, so we are going to climb down the mysterious ladder. And again, it defaults to no, so gotta pay attention to that. Whoa! Stomp, stomp, peek! And we're, we're back down here, I guess they for some reason needed to load that. Looks like we can't get up this way. Nope, you can only fall down. Okay, well, we're done with that area. I assume that we gotta get two logs, because... That one seemed to stop over on that side, and there's two sides of the cave, so it's pretty obvious that we're gonna need two, two little, or three logs rather, like six in total, but basically we're gonna need to do the same thing again, get get some logs up from over there, as a little cutscene in the beginning showed us. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter the western cave now, and I'm assuming that it's gonna be like, you know, western, eastern cave, and then we're gonna go ahead and... I guess go up upwards to the northern cave or something like that. Hey, look, a waddle. At least you don't have absorb, so that's good because absorb is really annoying in that it continuously drains my HP. I think Swaddle actually I don't I don't know if it can learn absorb actually. It's a bug in grass type, so it does have that grass typing to be able to learn it, but I don't know if it actually does learn it or not. And there was a little Timple, not really that big a threat. Timple's a cute Pokemon, man, you know, but it just doesn't seem to be that strong. It was a little bit stronger, like, uh, you know, I, I guess Seismitoad's alright, but it's like the fourth water and ground type. I don't know why they continuously keep making uh, ground and water types. I wouldn't be surprised at all if the next generation actually has one as well. And this leech seed is being really, really annoying. Pikachu, could you please do something to help me out in this battle? Okay, never mind. I guess they can attack when they're diagonal and, like, at the edge of a... Hello, Bagon. How are you doing, my friend? I'm gonna, I think if I use Water Gun, well, let's actually try it out. Nope, not very effective. So, effectiveness actually does work the way that it works in normal Pokemon games, and since it's a Dragon type, it is resistant to the three main types as well as Electric, which kind of sucks. It's one of the cool things about Dragon types, but also one of the things that makes them so much tougher to take out, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, seems like it's not down there where the stairs are, so we gotta go to some other area. And we're out of PP on Assurance, which is great, so we're back to using just Tackle. Cool. Um, I guess we could use a Max Elixir, but I don't really want to use one just yet, because I have a feeling that the stairs are somewhere nearby, and we can't really seem to find them. Uh, we're gonna go back. Why'd I... 
I don't understand how these menus keep opening up every once in a while. Like, I push a button on accident or something, and the menu, like, opens up. And I don't know what button exactly it is, but I apparently keep using some sort of button on accident. Pikachu, please, you do, thank you. I didn't know that Thundershock actually didn't, or wasn't, like, a... I guess we can't switch sides with Pet Lil, which kind of sucks, because then Pikachu would actually be able to attack. But, I don't know, you think Thundershock can actually hit from pretty far away, but apparently it's only one step in front of it. And there's the stairs... Uh, no items in this room. Kind of sucks. I've been hoping to find some more items, but we really haven't been getting any luck at all with items, which sucks a little bit for us because I need, like, orange berries and stuff in case we have, like, a boss at the end of this. So we have a Pelil and another Bagon. Let's actually keep fighting the Bagons because I want to try and get a Bagon on my team. That would be really cool, actually, if we managed to get a Bagon on our team. We're just gonna let Pelil keep healing up because I don't think it can actually get higher HP than it, you know, than its max HP, so... Doesn't really matter that it's absorbing when it's full HP. Get Leech Seated, Pikachu. I don't care about you, buddy. And there we go. We take it out. That wasn't even that tough. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping that we get like a Bagon on our team. That would be really cool, actually, if we got like a Bagon to join us up. Um, because people did tell me as well that you can have four Pokemon on your party or in your party or whatever it's called in this game. Um, and they can basically join you at random. So it's basically keep on fighting and fighting and hope for a stroke of luck that a Pokemon will want to join your adventure team or whatever it's called. So there we go, as I said, we have to get two logs to sort of align. That's that's pretty cool. They align to form a bridge. Wonder if there's any hidden items around here, though. I guess not. I don't know. We haven't been a or finding any sparkly items anywhere. Kind of sucks. I'd want some more items. And Pikachu once again gets stuck. Climb down the rope ladder. Yes. And again, it needs some sort of cutscene to load us falling down or something. Hey, look, we immediately fight another Bagon. I'm okay with that, though. So let's go ahead and cross that bridge and see if we can find our buddy Dunsparce and make up some sort of foolish voice for it, because that's the way that things seem to work here in Mystery Dungeon. So um, I believe there should be some new... Today's Saturday when I'm uploading this, probably. I've been trying to upload two videos daily, but it hasn't really been working out in my favor recently, mainly because these past few days, I don't know why, I've just been really lazy and I... I guess it's not the Northern Cave, it's just called Stump 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 Peak uh, with no real Northern Cave or anything specific to it. I wonder if we can see our EXP in this. That would be kind of helpful because I want to know how much EXP we've got to the next level because... Hey, an orange berry finally! Great. Anyway, uh, what I was saying was on the day this is being uploaded or... Was I even talking about that? I always lose my trail of thoughts. It's, it kind of sucks. But basically, I've been trying to upload two videos a week or daily rather, not a week. That wouldn't really make sense um but I've been really weird with recording lately I don't know why I just feel really tired when I wake up and then at the end of the day when I don't feel tired to record I'm basically doing something else such as playing other video games of interest to me recently like Tomb Raider and Shadow of the Colossus I've been trying to beat those recently and they're it's going pretty good so far water sport weakens fire type moves for a while okay let's go ahead and delete tail whip why not I mean I never use tail whip anyway so it's like why not delete it for water sport, even though we're not going to be really struggling against fire types, because we're a water type, I guess. I, I mean, it might work with Pikachu, but Pikachu doesn't really lose to fire types either. And we're both at level 11 now, which is awesome. I believe our PP is completely restored when we level up, so that is mainly why I wanted to level up. Not really for any new moves or anything, but let's just... Okay, no they don't. I thought that that was true, but I guess not. Maybe we'll have like a... um. What is it, like a like a little save floor kind of thing here? And either that or a cutscene. Looks like it's a cutscene. Looks like Dunsparce isn't here either. Should we keep going a bit farther? Yep. Oh boy, what's that? Huh? Over there! Look, do you see something sparkling? Of course I do, bro. It's the... Is it the blue gems? They're beautiful. These are probably crystals, huh? They're so clear, but they still reflect light like crazy. Look, when you look into one like this, you can see yourself! It's like a mirror! Oh, look at Pikachu sparkling eyes. That was so cool. Check it out, Orange! Oh my god! It's true! I can see clearly now! Though I had almost forgotten that now I look like Oshawott. We could use these to decorate our house. Let's take some with us, yeah? Alright, Pikachu, just shove those right into my... Um, the sack. The little shell on my chest. Sorry for the holdup, Orange. Let's get going again. Alright, we got some sparkling gems for our house. A little mirror. 
to work uh, so we can basically see ourselves and our reflection and be reminded that we now are now stuck being a Pokemon, which kind of sucks because, I don't know, I didn't really ask for this. I mean, I never really wished I would be a Pokemon. I wish I was a Pokemon trainer, you know, because that would be freaking awesome to have, like, your own Pokemon, but I never really wished to be a Pokemon itself. That would, I guess it, it doesn't really suck, but it wouldn't really be the greatest experience ever, now would it? Anyway... I guess Pikachu can attack diagonally when you're like facing through a rock or something and look our PP actually got restored now I guess it gets restored like when you finish a floor that one. I didn't actually know so oh my gosh I'm about to die here aren't I I hope that this kills it and of course it doesn't it's gonna get leech seated Nope. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? I'm dead. I'm dead. Look at that. That's fun and look at that, we did have a Reviver Seed, which is great, but hey, that's a Reviver Seed wasted. Pellil, of course, can attack Pikachu diagonally, but we can't attack, or Pikachu can't attack it diagonally, which sucks. At least not over a wall for some reason. I guess, I don't know, we need, like, better positioning in these battles because Pikachu does actually help out quite a lot. Um, so it sucks when we can't actually use Pikachu's potential, so hopefully here he can actually fake out will he do it though yes he will awesome so get a little bit of boosted damage there thank you for the rage on our my face just tackle that away and now we have a, a pet lil i actually need to get in a position where pikachu can actually battle here okay good it did raise his like special attack quite a lot so hopefully we can take it out pretty fast here thank you for draining pikachu and not me that actually is really good because on me, it's super effective, so obviously it does more damage, and it also heals up Pellil for more. That's pretty obvious, though, so where is the stairs on this level here? I guess we gotta just keep going until we find Mr. Dunsparce, so I will see you all when we reach the stairs of this level. And just as I say that, we actually do find the stairs, so let's go onwards to the next floor. Didn't battle any Pokemon or anything off-screen there, so no worries about that. We've come pretty far up. Ah, orange, over there. That's probably Dunsparce, wouldn't you say? Let's go ask. No way, Pikachu. What makes you think that that could ever be Dunsparce, man? I don't know. It kind of looks like one, maybe a little bit. Ugh, what am I going to do? Uh, you must be Dunsparce, right? Y yes, I am. What a relief. We came because we sought your request. We're here to save you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Boy, there are so many crying Pokemon in this crap. Why are there so many crying Pokemon? Dunsparth, Emolga, thank goodness. So this is where you were. You guys found him, huh? Thanks, we owe you big time. And I guess that wraps up the adventures in Stomp Stump Peak. We successfully completed the request at Stomp Stump Peak. So that is going to wrap up this episode. Next time we'll see... What is up with this Emolga and Dunsparce? See you guys then.